one of a kind Look at the sign, only the Asians can enter the ride Got no much time Yo, welcome to the very first episode of the weekly menu Where we bring you the sizzling topics that we gathered up this week So, for this very first episode, we're just gonna do some introductions So let me introduce you to my co-host the tech guy, Young Ray. Ray, what's up? What's up, y'all? What's up? Yeah. And of course, our resident <laughs> reloader, dude. We got Jum here. What's up, everybody? And the one and only me, you. What's up, guys? How, how's it? How's your day, dude? That's all right. I, I mean, right? who would have known we, we would be uh, doing this? <laughs> to be honest, yeah, dude. whose idea was True. this? I don't fucking know who. Uh, but, you know, uh, it's, we'll, we'll, it's we'll get to know it's about fine, it later. You know, yeah, We'll get to know exactly, about it later. Yeah. So, sure, sure. before we begin to like to the main topics, you know, Let's let's give ourselves a, a brief, you know, introduction about ourselves to the for the audience for the fans, you know. Fair enough, fair mm-hmm. enough. You, you want start, to introduce yourself? No, you start with Jamal. Okay, man. start with Jamal. All right. Oh, what's up, guys? Um, my name is Jamal. Uh, I'm 20 years old. Um, yeah, I study in Harriet Watt University. Uh, yeah. What what course, dude? Um, business admin. So I'm hopefully majoring in entrepreneurship. Yeah, so right, that's pretty cool. So Are far, you doing good? Yeah, so far so good, honestly. <laughs> it's it's a breeze, honestly, yeah. That's good. Good. Um um what else? Uh dreams and aspirations? Yeah, what, yeah. what's your passion, dude? Um I guess a dream would be uh would be is to uh to be a model. <laughs> Basically, hey, it's, yeah. not, it's, yeah, not, it's bad. not bad. It's not bad. It's Honestly, bad. yo, that's a that's a good. Yo, Jamaican model. Exactly. Yeah, Jamaican model. Yes. Hopefully, you just you know participate in a catwalk. Uh, actually. Ooh, oh damn. Yo, fire, okay. Fire. Yeah, respects. Yeah, respects. Yeah, respects. Yeah, yeah. Hey, thank you. Man. All right. Thank how you about guys. you, RJ? My name is Ray. I am born and raised here in Dubai, Filipino, but uncultured swine. But I'm I'm getting there. I'm getting, getting there. there. Okay. Um. um what you been I, up to lately? What are you guys doing? Uh, bro, like fucking work is. Hello. <laughs> What's Hello your work? Bad. What's your work? Tell them. I'm a graphic designer. Yo. Um, yeah, I do. I do designs for brands like Under Armour, clients Whoa. like P.F. Chang's. Damn. Yeah. That's big. That's big. That's a so come up. You, you graduate already. Right? Yeah, graduated. Um, working all with all with all these campaigns for Emirat. Damn, dude. It, it's it's big, but oh, trust me, it's it's a pain in the That's ass. Basic. It's a pain. Is in it the really ass. stressful? <laughs> It could be very stressful uh, over yeah. times. Well, you know, but we, we need to do the hustle, bro. Yeah, yeah but it's all about it's all about the grind. It's all about the grind. Gotta keep going. Okay, for no complaints here. All right, it's my turn then. Um, my name is Mio, and um, I wasn't really born and raised here in Dubai. Maybe half of my life, and um, I'm currently studying in De La Salle University in Manila, and Ooh. taking up uh, electronic and communications engineering, Fire. dude. Yeah. How was so, it? Huh? How was it? <laughs> I mean, like, you know, um, I wasn't expecting that I would take this course because I was mm-hmm. in the, I was studying for aeronautics, right? Yeah. But then I, I chose this course. And after this, hopefully, guys, you know, we get into those pilot programs and oh, sh- inshallah. Are inshallah. Getting, right? inshallah. Are we getting, like, we getting yeah. like free flights, though? Yeah, hopefully, dude. Hopefully, hopefully. If, if I get the job, oh. you know. I might, I might put you on my list, bro. Hey, respects. Oh, respects. 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 Anyway, respects. anyway, guys. Respe- respects. Respects. <laughs> let's, respects. Let's, let's proceed. <laughs> <laughs> to <laughs> what? Can you talk about, let's talk about the podcast, dude. Let, let's set up oh. the podcast, dude. The weekly menu. Why do we call it the weekly menu? Dude? How did it start, though? I, I think it was... Uh, it just came up randomly, huh? It, it was like in City Center, right? Yeah, yeah. there is City Center, and then... I think it was Mia who came up with a yeah with because a we were eating in a food court yeah and then actually saw, yeah this whole concept of the weekly menu oh, just yeah. happened while eating I think uh-huh. I, I, I think it's just the hunger that gave us an idea of like I think oh, so yeah, yeah, dude, yeah the yeah. weekly menu and like it was it kind of sounded like catchy and then oh so now the concept is uh, let's ex- let's explain it right like yeah concept, sure right? go ahead so go ahead. we basically like divide the section of the podcast into three we got the appetizer which are we currently mm-hmm. right now doing right now and then we're gonna go with the main course where we talk about the big topics the main topics of the day and we talk and then the last one is our favorite part of the meal which is the d- dessert like mostly like probably challenges mm-hmm, games yeah. or like anything that you want us to do it's pretty smart to be honest yeah because you like you know like having a multi-course mm, yeah it's it has a structure mm-hmm. which is yeah, good yeah. and like yeah. you know following the structure you know people might think that we're doing a a food a f- food podcast <laughs> yeah. but no no guys <laughs> no. we are doing 
fashion, food, and culture. So it's a mix of different things. And also, we're going to introduce to you our concept of the takeaway and dine-in. Can you care to explain to what does takeaway mean? Go ahead, Jamal. Um, what is takeaway, honestly, actually? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. I'm not sure. Because no, okay. I'm not sure. All right. Yeah, that, that is exactly why I pointed out to you because I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so in, in the streetwear culture, we have this, what we call the cop or drop, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's basically like the kind of the same concept. Like, you know, if it's, if it's good, then we dine in, you know, we keep going. Mm, and it's okay. like, you know, eh. If it's a pass. It's a pass. They go, we of take course, away. we go take, take away. away. So, okay. so we got, you know, cool, cool, take cool. away or take out, whatever. So we basically will give you some poll on different topics or fits that we we're going to show you throughout the podcast and throughout the series. And you're going to just have to say if it's a dine in or a take out, bros. All right. Gotcha. Simple that, as that. So the first one is, is this podcast, the very first podcast, a takeaway? Or dine-in, dude. Bro, it's a dine-in. It's a dine-in. No dine doubt. In. Come well, on. Let, let the audience uh, think about it. Let's keep the energies up, you know? Yeah. Let's I go. Mean, it's like a whole new experience, you know? Like, yeah. even if we hang out and just have our uh, regular conversations, yeah. this feels different because it's like we're also talking to you guys. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. And, like, we we like to listen to your opinions, yeah. your suggestions. So make sure you comment down below the topics that you want us to uh, delve into and we also want you guys to uh, suggest on the activities that we w- you want us to do some challenges you want like you say a fit fit challenge, fit or challenge? yeah i guess yeah, yeah. why not truth or dare mukbang oh did translate into english dude this guy's oh no yo, having you difficulty mean? in like yo oh, oh okay. no you didn't tell me this part no. uh-huh, oh. dude. this is uh, <laughs> <That's> <laughs> he, he came up with this by the way <laughs> it's part of the culture part oh, of let's the see culture, yo dude. let's see if this guy still has the filipino blood the Filipino oh heart, God. dude. Oh, no. Anyway. Fuck. Okay. Guys, I think it's time to go to the main course. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Main course. Let's, let's go. go. Okay, for the main course, guys. You know, people want to know, like, how did we get into this, like, you know, common um, taste for streetwear? You know, the common, this is like our common denominator. Yeah. So, so let's start with RJ, man. How did I get into streetwear? Uh... I guess it's just social media, social to be media, honest. Okay. Um, yeah, I think just looking up to all these guys, like with their fits and their style. Can you can you be specific on which? Yeah. Show? Well, uh, I can't really be specific because there's a lot of people in social media. I guess you could say jerry lorenzo <laughs> of course dude He's oh, gonna say come that. on man why jerry is that not a surprise Yo, it's jerry lorenzo <laughs> dude, fear um, of god next if, level if we're gonna check his OT, otd later and you're gonna see it's <laughs> very jerry lorenzo inspired. very uh yeah inspired um, yeah bro mm-hmm. 90 i mean of the time. you know to be honest right well let's be let's be all be honest like uh, i'm not that good looking we're i guess we're not that mm, good no, looking no, don't nope. say that so man. i feel like don't say that y- yeah i mean like I don't really average. care. I don't really care. About it. Yeah, we're average. average. We're average. Yeah, okay. I don't better. really care about that, but I feel like style style can make it up to it. Yep. Yeah. Style mm. can make That's it up a to big it. Impression. Talent can make it up to it. Mm-hmm. So in case in case you're trying to like do that slide slide in the DMs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Skirt. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why the fuck am I so cringe, bro? Uh, dude, what was your first very first item or sneaker that you ever bought? Like, you know, Yo, my first one. Oh, my like, first. You know. You know. In fact, I fucking sold it, man. No, oh. I, don't, I don't know. I know why. this one. It's the first I don't, one. Yeah, it was I know first this one. one. It was my my J one Spider Verse, like the. Oh, you sold red, it. Yeah, I sold it. To oh, be honest. dude, I still have mine, dude. Yeah, I mean to be honest, it it just wasn't my size, and I just tried to. Mm. Every time I wear it, Damn. I have to like go triple layered socks. Ooh. And. Uh, we get it. You know, it. It, it's a dope shoe. Don't it's get me wrong. Shoe, it's yeah, a dope yeah. shoe. The it's colorway dope too. The colorway. Dope colorway. Dope concept. Mm. But the problem was that it's not my size. Yeah. Wait, what size was it? It was a nine point five. I'm and a nine. What size? Oh. oh, you're a nine. Yeah, I'm a nine. All right. Because that, that was my first J's, and I, I had no idea mm. what the sizing for. Yeah. So. yeah. Understandable, but you know, it's kind of sad. It was the very first. Yeah, item. I should have kept. So after I that, it. like, w- which brands are you like? Nowadays, I'm. I'm really into. Of course, essentials, bro. You just said Jerry Lorenzo. Yeah. And okay. since Jerry moved to Adidas, I'm Ad- an Adidas boy. <laughs> <laughs> can't blame can't blame the guy. So you know? whatever whatever Jerry is promoting, 
RJ must have it and he's exactly he's gonna be, I'm a proud bandwagon you know. and I say deep down my heart <laughs> Sambas bro? respect Sambas in fact I'm wearing Sambas right now <laughs> Oh yeah, we'll talk about that later. Talk so it, yeah, <laughs> that's how. So that's how you got into street journey. Yeah, know, much. Thing. How about you, Jamel? Um, how I got into street wear. Um, honestly, I'm a I'm a guy that values uh first impressions. Yeah. You know, talking talking mm. or looking yep. good is, is not enough, right? Mm. Mm. Like I I want to be, I want to be the guy that gets remembered as oh hey it's the. It's uh, that guy who just is good. It's to be re- relevant. Yeah, to I don't know. Yo. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've always valued uh like clothing as mm. a mm-hmm. good source of first impression. Um. Then again, yeah. Who, who do you look up to? Same with RJ. Uh, Kenichima. <laughs> oh. <laughs> why? Yeah. Why are we answering people's? Uh, exactly. Dude. I'm. A, I'm a sorry. Like it's yeah. just. I think it's just his main inspiration. I mean, uh, am I right? Yeah. Like s- same with RJ. I also yeah. got influenced through uh, watching uh, yeah. these YouTubers or yeah. like mm-hmm. like fashion guys, basically. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. What he said. Kenijima. There, there we go. There you go. There you go. I don't know. His style is very. Uh. It's yeah. chill. Like. It's chill. I don't know. But, it's just nice, but like aesthetic. Like you've been you've been into uh, more into vintage fashion, you know. Uh yeah, I say yeah, vintage or maybe. Because he he is like yeah. focused on like you know. archive actually vintage or archive. That's sense, that's what sense. I'm into. But yeah. then again, I don't work. I don't have a job, <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta we'll keep it low budget. Yeah. I'm low budget, you know. I mean, I'm all about out that. Out of the three of us, he's the vintage boy. Yeah, he's the, I'm vintage, the vintage boy. boy. Like we have, we have like comfy wear, and then we have the vintage yeah. boy. And yeah, we'll talk about mine later. Dude. All right, yeah. So that's that's how I got so, into streetwear. Like, what was your very yeah same similar question? What was your very first streetwear item? Mm. Mm. Again, day <laughs> ones. Oh, okay. But, but it was actually a mids. Oh. And it was a reverse breads, Ooh. actually. Reverse Mizzo. breads. I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> oh, come oh, on. That's a different topic. Come right there. on. Nah, not now, not now. But yeah. I, still I still have it. I still have the shoe. Let's you know? respect the guy, dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not bad. Yo, not mids deserve anything. some love, too. Come on. Uh, yeah. yeah, I love mids. Okay. But lows? Fire. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, oh. it's a different opinion. Yeah, different Yo. opinion. Different opinion. Come I'll on. talk about it later. So, okay. okay so it was a Last but not the least. Last but not the least. Mio Antonio oh. Tan, let's me, me, go. Me. Yeah, let's right, go. Right, right, right. Let's go. So, so I started like, it was it was on, um, on sneakers. You know, sneaker yeah. collector. Because my uncle used to have this uh, J11, J12 collection, uh, with with Kobe's as well. So we were like looking at, it, and then he has a lot of collection. And then my brother started like, oh, yo, I want this Jordans, and then me also, I wanted. I wanted this shoe like uh, I've seen the first ever Yeezy uh, at first like the first Yeezy wasn't like in my impression but the 350 V2s like got me hooked up into it and then the NMDs as well and then the very first item where it all started was uh, a simple um, Ultra Boost sneaker that I bought mm. that Yo, Ultra Boost is comfy though yeah, yeah it's, it's, good, comfy. it's good that's, yeah. that's a good it's, choice it's an everyday wear yeah, yeah. Um, and then I uh, I bought that and then I, I, I bought my f- very first NMD when it was like the, the first version of the NMDs were so hyped that time. At its peak. Mm. At its yeah. So this was like 2015? No, 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 no. No, uh, actually. 2016, maybe 17? 16? Yeah, but would you say that your your uncle was a, like a hype piece or? No, no, no. He was, like he was, he was more yeah, He sneaker was more sneaker. Oh, okay. no, yeah. cool. um, it, it's a particular mm-hmm. collection. And he, because he was like during his era at the time, he was playing a lot of basketball. He would, Kobe was his inspiration. Mm, okay. J twelve was his favorite Jordan shoe. It was, that was his collection. That's where like you know the first time like I got, I got influenced to buy the Space Jams, and that's where I, everything. Uh, I've been buying shoes that I want to wear, but sometimes I also buy shoes that I want to like you know resell and stuff. But mm, I never enough. thought of like standing out in public. Cause mm-hmm. all I want is like to feel good that oh finally I've got this shoe that I really really wanted, mm-hmm. and like which one was the first one? Oh, the NMDs one. That was, oh, yeah, I yeah, really the really, NMDs, really right, wanted right, that right. one. And but like your Jordans, what was the first? Funny, Jordan? funny. St- yeah, uh, my first Jordan. Yeah, first Jordan. Um, uh, my very first Jordan was a Space Jam. I think. Oh, fire! Oh, fire! And then yeah, so funny story about the that NMDs. You know, there was actually a uh, the fire alarm went off. The Robe Hotel in Old Meta. Oh shit! And I was stuck in the, I think it's seventh floor or ninth floor. Yeah. Uh-huh. And my mom was calling me. I couldn't hear the, 
the alarms. But actually, the sprinklers were already on for the other floors. Mm -hmm. So I had to go down and the, f the staircase is getting flooded. It was like uh, all the way up here on like oh, half fuck. of my yeah. uh, body already. And I was wearing NMDs. Oh, oh yo, so that's, that's bad. The moment I went down on like the first floor, the ground floor, it was already flooded and I had to like get out. And then when I opened the door, all the water came off. Uh, Ouch. And what? because I was the only one trying to escape, because a lot of people got evacuated because I didn't know. Like, mm -hmm. And then my shoe was just like drenched. Dude, oh. I don't know if I still have the story, but it was, I, I had it in Snapchat. I don't, I don't think I have it I mean, at the end of the day, right? At least you're safe. At least that's you're safe. Yeah, yeah, that's what matters. Like that, that thing made me a, like a deep connection with that NMD because like, oh shit, I was in that situation where like, you know, at some point I was in like, the, there was a fire in the building and dude, that NMD was like a memory of it, you know? Mm. Y you know, I never heard of like dramatic stories as mm, this. Uh, like, in regards to sneakers yeah, and yeah. like just hearing that from you was mm -hmm. like you know they may just be sneakers but they you actually yeah. build a connection yeah, like yeah a bond with them. That, there's a that's sentimental why, that's why, value like, you know, for, for people who who keep their sneakers like even if they're beat up yeah yeah there is a sentimental value to it and like there is a connection oh my dude God. man you're just making you regret everything <laughs> and i sold oh. it for a steal oh i sold it for like a thousand two hundred oh, oh my shit. god what Isn't is it wrong worth more you? anyway it's it's it's, it's, it's 2k over, dead stock you know yeah. so for for my fashion days i would say like people will call me a hype beast but yeah. i wasn't <laughs> really a hype beast like entirely like my what like my, what my brother yeah, did yeah. was but i was like low-key like you know uh, a shirt with a low uh, a small logo you know you won't notice it until like you literally come up to me oh like mm -hmm. oh shit you're actually wearing babe i'm like same so, i'm so, actually that guy too so um i keep it subtle as much as possible but sometimes i go loud it depends and I don't, I don't really have like a fashion icon but right now i've been wearing stuff that would make me feel comfortable at the same time like you know i don't want to lose that identity that oh i love the brand babe you know yeah. i love that yeah, so yeah. i gotcha. cannot stop like even mm -hmm. though people tell me to change like no it's like it's been with me for years you know it's been my identity and yeah stuff. i just i've always felt like you were a big nego fan uh me yeah i would say um i had I had um, good impressions of him, but like you know, after he left, babe, like you know, I kind of feel like it wasn't the same. Anymore. It wasn't the same, but yeah, yeah. I still gotcha. have to give respect to the brand, mm -hmm. and that's why, like, I've been looking forward for a lot of the Uniqlo items because mm. I mean, Nigo is Nigo is in, involved with it. You know, he's yeah. a creative director of UT Me, so a lot of those items were really good graphic designs. Cool. I mean, Nigo is Nigo, you know. Yeah. yeah. Can. I mean, Right he's now, the, yeah. even if uh, even if he's uh, he's in human made, yeah. it's still fire like yeah. with Pharrell Williams. That's it's true. Fire. That's true. So I think I think we covered like why yeah. fashion is really involved in this podcast. You know, yeah. we really covered it. So now let's talk about like another one. It's like, wh why do we insert food? You know, people think it is a food podcast, but it's only one <laughs> <laughs> concept. The so. weekly menu obviously mm -hmm. would have to involve food. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I, I, I sh should I start? Yeah, yeah, yeah go okay. ahead. So go so ahead. so if people are watching my Instagram stories right now, <laughs> ninety percent of the time you're gonna look on me testing different foods and giving like reviews out of ten. Uh, buff buffets, you mean? You know, people people did not know me for having a streetwear. Mm -hmm. Like that's only like half of the population of people know me. But I would say people know me like, oh Mia, you've been trying so many good foods. Like, what's the hell's wrong with you? You know, like. I, I literally dedicated myself into like trying whatever I see in Instagram or ever and test it if it's really good. Cause like mm -hmm. it kind of bothers you if you see it in the internet and you don't know the taste, you don't know how it really looks like. You don't know if it's really hype or something. So man, uh, the, the internet won't really justify the mm. experience. Unless you honest. taste it. Yeah. Huh? Unless, yeah. Yeah. That's why, that's sure. why I want to like, I, I suggested this to be brought into this podcast because I want to bring my honest opinion without like you know posting a really good picture of it you know like yeah 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 for sure. I, I know we were totally down for it yeah. because food is food like food is who food. doesn't love food no what's your favorite dude? I, oh favorite <laughs> yeah i mean i mean we 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 yeah. expat kids of dubai we already have like a common thing that we would answer dude um wait i'm not sure okay you want know to go first i'm actually not sure shawarma I would say shawarma as well. Okay, yeah. shawarma. Okay, it's Sh fine. Besides shawarma, shawarma, though? shawarma is like a safe answer for us, dude. Yeah, but for sure. 
what we debate on shawarma is which area is the best which shawarma? area oh my, my god, god. oh we, no a lot yeah. of people oh, no. love lafa uh, yeah yeah i swear to god I don't and like then it. i saw like the internet there's like a top 10 it's lafa is not even there I'm like, oh well to be honest I'm, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I know a lot of you guys are big fans of La Fa, but it's just my honest review, yeah? Yeah. It's just filled with... um. Garlic? Yes, it is filled with garlic, but yeah. their garlic is... How do I explain? Too much? It, it's too... Yeah, exactly. It's too much. So you're not a garlic boy? No, I'm a garlic boy. No mm. doubt about that. Yeah. But then, like, the other ingredients inside a shawarma doesn't really mm. complement the garlic, yeah. to be honest. So the garlic just... It just overpowers Over, all yeah. the flavors, mm. and that's what I don't all like. Right. So th- you see, that's an example of how we talk about shawarma. This is a big topic. Yeah, you know? yeah this is a big <laughs> debate. Yeah, for sure. So like, let's just look on like your your favorite food. Like, what would you expect? You know, bring up here. Like, you know, let's say something about McDonald's or something. Um, honestly, I want to keep it simple. Uh, just uh, regular noodles, like those packet <laughs> noodles. Uh, <laughs> so those are good though. Yo, but which it, brand though? Yeah, which, which brand, brand though? Oh. Hmm. That punch is gone on? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually like that one. Yeah. <laughs> what brand was that? Is that Lucky Me? Lucky Me. Lucky I think it's Lucky Me. Co- wait, wait. Co- so you're telling? Oh no. my god. Coca. Coca. Yo, noodles? you're telling me, you t- you can t- you'll take it over Indomie. Yo. Yo. Okay, we'll on. talk about oh, it later. Yo. Okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> that's a good. That's no. a good. That's a good debate, yo. dude. Indomie pancet canton. <laughs> like in the perspective of Filipino, that's different. Yeah. Samyang noodles. Yeah. Oh, oh, fire. All right, and then how about you, RJ? What's your favorite, dude? I would say, like, besides shawarma, um, I would say seasick. Seasick, dude. This guy's you know, going high blood, bro. He's yeah, going okay, I'm not cholesterol. gonna lie, though. I'm not the biggest fan of Filipino food. But I don't, I don't enjoy uh, adobo as much as you guys or other uh, Filipinos. What would you en- say, uh, seasick is? Because we might have like C-sick other is viewers. Love. Sissy is life. <laughs> Yo, I mean, like, what does it consist of? Like, what's the main? Okay. So, what's this uh, pork seasick, right? Yeah, the original one. To some people, it may sound disgusting because I believe seasick comes from like the different parts. Yeah, of the, the ears, head, tongue, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But you know, like, just remove that thought. It's good. It's, it's good. good. It's it good. bangs. It's a banger. banger. It's a banger. Yeah. It's a banger. Yeah. I like you. You 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 match it up with some good beer and everything yeah, yeah. you're good Th- you that go. sizzling good sound when the choice. waiter like serves it at your table yeah jesus christ yo that's the best feeling ever good choice good choice yeah, yeah. for me it's hard <laughs> yeah. oh oh why am i not surprised <laughs> i've been, I've why been, am I not surprised? Traveling, <laughs> I've been traveling like a lot of places in the world you know and i've tasted the best oh and i, I would i would you know you know in, in Tor- torico you know that anime Torico. No, Torico. So Same. Torico has his own like um, menu, from mm-hmm. starting from like horse yeah. de vue to to main course. Too. So he has that. So I probably like by the end of the podcast, I would build my own. That's my dream. Oh. Mm-hmm. To be to build my ultimate wow. menu. menu. Wow. Because like um like you know uh it's hard for me to choose between leche flan or egg torts. It's hard for me to choose between like tres leches or like a cheesecake. Because mm. they, they, these there's things a lot. are good. There's a there's yeah. a lot, but you know, someday, you know, probably like after like 50, 60 years of living, you know, I probably have like a, God no bless, idea. God bless. Oh shit! I want this food so badly, dude. But yeah. right now, I'll tell you guys that I would give my honest review as a foodie on the things that you would like us to recommend tasting. And not only that, we're gonna talk about like topics like you know mcdonald's have been doing a lot of collaborations right now really yeah 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 a bts lot. travis oh. scott oh um, i was i was very surprised Jibalvin, right oh yeah 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 actually Damn. so it's a lot so there's this food topic is not only like related to like the taste of it but even the marketing and everything you know could be like recent news yeah like collaborations yeah. as well there's a lot mm-hmm. of things to look on like you know what what kfc is bringing into the table and like well, KFC though, like I don't see them doing any collaborations, so <laughs> I don't exactly. Well, know. we can talk about like the change on the way they they market, you know, the commercial. Uh, it could do, yeah, yeah. It could do. So this is a big, this is a large, uh, con- uh topic that we can delve into later yeah. in the other part of the podcast. Now, next is culture. So why? Wait, culture? I got a question though. Oh, go. Are we going to eat as well? <laughs> of course, oh, of course. We're gonna, bang? You, know, bang? you know, you know what? Like, you know, we're gonna talk, think of it like we can, we can like eat while we're talking about, you know. But we gotta mm. choose, you gotta choose uh, certain types of episodes and certain oh, types yeah, of food. Sure, sure, so sure, we'll sure. be doing like for a sure, mukbang sure. slash yeah, yeah, ASMR. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, not bad, dude. <laughs> not bad. Okay, so 
let's go with the culture okay so culture why um we chose this topic because we are expats mm-hmm. we are children of expats in dubai and we have a different we are different from the filipinos that live in manila or in in, in our country we are also different from the kids who live in the u.s and the other kids the other ofw kids so we have a different culture you know yeah we yeah. We have uh, probably certain type of jargons that we use mm-hmm. that only Middle Eastern kids would probably understand. And then we also kind of have uh, a different side or even, you know, even in the, how do you say this? In the personality wise, you have a different kind, you know? Yeah, it's different. Yeah. Sometimes like uh, some Filipinos are more liberal and some are really conservative, you know? Hmm. Right, RJ? Facts. <laughs> big topic. Facts. Big topic. Big topic. So we're, it's a big topic, you know. So, so like, growing up in Dubai, let's talk about a small part of it, okay? Like growing up in Dubai and then going to Philippines, is it, is it, did you really get a culture shock <coughs> moment, you know, RJ? Sorry? Culture like, shock. Culture shock. Yeah. Oh, you were, where, where did you go? Uh, I mean, it, oh my God. You went to Bahal, right? Yeah, it's just, in, it's just in Bahal, okay? And then what do you feel like? What was the difference? Then? Um, you know, as much as I want to feel like I am at part home. of the community mm-hmm. and I feel mm-hmm. like a, I feel like a, at home, mm-hmm. yeah, it just doesn't feel like it. Mm-hmm. Just because I speak English, mm-hmm. you know, like I don't really speak my language. It's so a deep, deep topic as well. Like yeah, you know. I don't speak my language, so like, and I'm trying my best, but like, it's just, it just, it doesn't I work. It just, it's, it's like there's a void. Yeah, a it's like void a void. Now. Like I want to, uh, I want so to much, it. but. Mm. People just people just tell me, yo, you sound like so, uh, Martin, Cornel, like Martin. Martin. Yeah. I, and I feel bad about it because. So that's that's a that's I don't, an example. Yeah, right? I don't wanna I don't wanna feel like I'm disrespecting the, the mm-hmm. language, but I'm trying to learn. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But it just kind of demotivates me when people say that. Say that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about you, Jamal? Um, yeah, there's a huge culture shock actually. Like when I first, not first, but like one of the many times mm-hmm. I went to Philippines, mm. it's not the same as Dubai. Yeah. For sure, yeah. For sure, for sure. Like everything here is so modern. It's mm-hmm. clean. Government is yeah. mm. all right, sort of, yeah. Like and then even back the Filipinos home, here is different from the yeah. Like back home, it's just it's way different. It's more complex, would you say? Um, it's a big spectrum. Yeah, I guess so. Like maybe it's they're always out of place. Mm. I guess like mm. ev- ev- everywhere is too crowded. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I guess wanna, would yeah. say mm. yeah. And yeah, similar with RJ. As oh, long as people hear you speak English, uh, they just, just like, yeah. they just stray yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll also change the prices. Yeah. And all that. <laughs> that that's that's what's kind of yeah. toxic about you know yeah. us people. I mean, but can we really blame them? At the end of the day, they're trying to mm. hustle. Yeah. Yeah, hustle. You know, the respect. But but well. we'll talk about that later. So now, culture is really. Now we know that culture is a really big topic, and yeah. this is the reason why we mm-hmm. want to talk about it because it's very different yep. from how we grew up, you know. Now, I think people want to know how we guys met. Oh, you know? uh-huh. Uh-huh. oh, wow! Throwback, throwback Thursday. Throwback. Should I start? It's not even. Or it's not even Thursday, but well, <laughs> throwback Wednesday. Oh, you guys should start because you guys already know each other before. Yeah, right? well, I think we. Yeah, we first I think met. So, yeah. We first met before. No, Mio. no, we met. M- I met Mio first because oh, we were right, classmates. right, right. Because you guys were classmates. Yeah. Yeah, but you knew each other, right? No, not really. Not, uh, not really. Yeah, yeah. So well, how it all began? How it all began? Um, <laughs> I was classmates with Mio back in high school. Yeah. Like it was a senior one, so seventh grade. Yeah, seventh grade. Mm-hmm. Um, the first time we met was kind of weird. Kind of weird, dude. Very weird, actually. <laughs> and it's all because of me. Yeah. Uh, he was in UKID, actually. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I just walked up to him one day, like the first day of school. Uh-huh. I asked if he was if he was Chinese. Kind of racist, Yo. but kind of racist. <laughs> Yo, that's people. People might. Go crazy on the. I mean, I mean, t- technically he did. Uh, he did look Chinese, and because he, I mean, he is he, Chinese. Until I mean, now, until now. Yeah, yeah. I didn't say it in a racist way, obviously. Like, oh, yeah, he yeah, was yeah. just curious way. Maybe like in a jokey Joke way. Yeah, yeah but like it's, it's rude. It's, I know. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, like it, I guess it sounds racist because he's Filipino. Yeah. But if he was Chinese, maybe it would feel normal for some reason. But I'm still Chinese though. I'm still yeah, half. Yeah, okay. yeah, so yeah. it's still like half valid. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I don't know. Like I, I just say? thought I just thought that would be like a good good entry. 
Yeah, like a <laughs> like a good intro, I intro. guess. Kinda. Well, what, what did I what did I respond, dude? You were like, yeah, yeah, I'm Chinese. And then the whole you got a problem with that? <laughs> sort of, yeah. Yeah, yeah because he like, gave me this attitude, I guess. Yeah, because what's wrong with you? Why would you ask that question? You know. And then right. and then I just I remember I got embarrassed on my first day. Like all my boys, like my like close they were laughing, boys, and yeah. then they they already know. Oh my god, this guy is is uh. It's not really like he's not one to be messed with. You uh, yeah, know? yeah, yeah, no. yeah. And up until that point, like I think, like I think we just sort of just talked. And now, you know, I didn't have that new kid syndrome, you know. Yeah, like I didn't have like that awkward stage. It felt like you were there. You know, natural, right? Yeah. Oh wow. Uh, yeah. I think we just invited them to our clique. That's, yeah. That's how we. And then suddenly, close. like you know, I've I've been uh, moving in with yeah. a group. Right now. Up yeah. until now, we're tight. You know, what I'm saying yeah. we're tight. So that's well, how. Wasn't it? Your- wasn't it like your first time in Dubai? Yeah, and I, like I told you already, like it was so difficult to communicate with them because I don't know, like a single like I would probably speak in a broken English. Yeah, you know? yeah. I was a fob, bro, fresh off the boat, dude. You know? Yeah, I mean like the fact that you said that you were able to click in an instant, right? Yeah. While being in a completely different environment. Yeah, yeah. It, it is. It is good. That's good. Yeah, impressive. That's, good. that's yeah. impressive. Yeah. I would say like because I, I was a very extroverted person. I wanted to be dude. Uh-huh. I made a gassy talk, bro. Oh, Agassi's a shout out to Agassi. Shout out to one Agassi. of the boys. When, when he was when he was like in in he was my seatmate, right? He was yeah. so quiet. He was he's just the awkward. Yeah, kid. I remember. Mm-hmm. But did like uh, I ask him questions and he would answer. And then I had like uh, Kyle and Kerr behind me. Mm, okay. So and Kyle and Kerr were like they were pretty they're pretty like talkative and stuff. Yo, they're close. Oh, they're, they're close. They were yeah. close that time. And then you have Jamel, Rudon, oh, Nigel, no. the bad oh, boys, and no. then Lowell. Oh my gosh, the good dude. boy. <laughs> and then Ryan and Ralph. So like the whole gang was just like a mix of different personalities, but we already know why we're together. Dude. <laughs> I think it's maybe because um we all have similarities in yeah, one yeah, way or yeah, another. Yeah. So I guess yeah, our I similarities think the similarity would be games. Like I think it's not only games. It's because you guys are Pinoys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's 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 oh. let's like you know what? Let's just accept that fact that the, our class was like divided into three sections, <laughs> dude. And the last, like you know, one lane was just full of Pinoys. That's true, dude. Yeah. B class was like that. Yeah. But you know, like that click, you know, made us tight and everything. Mm-hmm. And it's don't don't think of it as a bad thing, guys. It's not like we were racist or anything. It's just that it was more comfortable for us to be friends with someone like you know from the same country you know it's easier to get into right yeah 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 for sure for sure right so yeah, that's, that's sure. why i i, I think I, it's like a uh, defense mechanism but no. yeah but i hope people don't misunderstand that though like the way that we segregate ourselves into like different cliques or groups it's not because we find like the same race comfortable, you know, to no, talk with. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. In the end, like at the end of the day, like all of us are like close friends. Yeah, we we spend together. Yeah. Yeah. So that's. I mean, compared to why. my class, though. Oh. Compared to my class, right. you, guys, you, you guys, you guys are. Let's you guys go there. Are Let's packed. go there. Well, how how was that like high school era, dude? That that class was just like a family, bro. Like, By the whenever, way, whenever we go outside, like, oh my god. They're together again. All all thirty of them. No, for context, yeah. Uh me and Mio were in the same class. Yeah, yeah. We were B section. We were like the segregated I groups. Was RJ section. was in the C section. Yeah. So. The family group. And then the F like we don't want to talk about it. It's not a bad Yo. thing. But we just <laughs> wow. we just we're just like, you know, we're not really We're not that that like close. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have enough yeah. info for them. Yeah. But they're cool. They're tight. Well, right, go ahead. In my class, yeah, yeah, man, we were just like like a family <laughs> if there was a problem we would talk about it like oh, we would talk about wow. it and solve the problem you know we were like you we were like those good boys trying to be like uh, okay. ant- anti-bullies give a shout out to your c-class bro shout out c-class hey, shout I out I to you guys. you guys are doing well <laughs> <laughs> and yeah and I'm, i miss you guys don't forget 2025 reunion <laughs> yeah. oh you guys have planned yeah 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 it was hey, a promise hey, it was a promise that had that that needs to be made 2025 reunion as well yo these guys <laughs> yo, copy let's, call right out. Oh. let's call out let's call out Hey, what's up, guys? To the people who are studying in the UK, <laughs> in uh, Czech Republic, Singapore, uh, Philippines, um, I don't know, Netherlands, I think. Some yeah, I think so, yeah. And Dubai, of course. What's up, guys? How are you doing? <laughs> Let's do a reunion 2025. Dude, B class. Let's get well, it, man. Oh, you know what? Our whole batch should have a reunion, dude. Well, 
Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Maybe. maybe. So, but so, that will take time. So yeah. So that's that's basically our high school days. So yeah, that's how we perceive our section yeah. are. But the, the 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 time that we actually like got close, like all three of us, was because mm-hmm. of one common friend. Shout yeah. Out, shout out, Lowell shout out to Lowell. Hey, Lowell. So how you doing? He's still. Um, he was. Uh, oh, he you was, live in the same. Yeah, we were. Uh, Lowell and I, we were. Uh, Together we since were, yeah, since birth, like yeah, oh shoot, dude. It yeah. was like br- like a brother from another mother, you it's know. Like your cousin, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I I really I thought that they were cousins, dude. <laughs> yeah, we were not cousins, but we were like like that close because mm. literally we, we live like yeah. next door together. Mm. Yeah, and like he would always teach me and the shit, but He's as fine. always, I was that bad boy who doesn't listen. So <laughs> you know, like I'm sorry if I failed, no, but no, 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 you know, don't be harsh on yourself, dude. It happens. But, dude. But that was the past. You yeah, know, that yeah. was the past. Come on. We move. We move. Yeah, but like, yeah, uh, we met through Lowell. Yeah. He introduced yeah. M- uh, me to you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's how we all became close. And then we were not, we were not like really in the terms where like we're like um, a, a circle already. We we're just like just talking like you know common friends. Yeah. I guess inqua- acquaintance is the acquaintance right word. Is, yeah. 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 And then and then college hit and then everyone started like going around places true and that's when oh. our bond just like went crazy yeah yeah no also, like how i got close to rj was the obviously through lowell and then um, and we live next door as well yeah i didn't i didn't know rj like lives close by like to my place because mm-hmm. we both live in dera and from there we just we just called each other, yo. You like you want to grab a shawarma? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have some chai, and yo, then you, that's you it. You sound pretty bent right now. Bent, <laughs> <laughs> yo. No, I'm playing, what I'm is playing. going on? I'm playing, I'm I think I think me and RJ got close. No, me. Of course, ju- me and Jamal are already close. Cause yeah, we were yeah. Close. yeah. Me and RJ got close because, like, you know, sneakers, bro. Sneakers, yeah. yeah sneakers sure. was a big thing that made us. Like, I think that was a common interest between yeah, the three yeah. of us. The three yeah. Of us, yeah. yeah, and then. You know, RJ would ask me like, "Oh, are you joining the raffle? Oh, how do yeah, this? Yeah. Like, how much is this?" So like, I've been, I've been like giving good tips and suggestions. And I think he's like, "Look at him! Look at the W he's oh, been man. doing for years." There we go. Uh, like the collection. He oh, but I hope you guys yeah, can see I'll, it. I'll talk about it later. Uh, I'll talk about it. <laughs> talk about it next time, dude. Okay, later. sure. Why not? <laughs> but that, that's basically like how we met. You know, just common friends, common interests, and in, you know, high school days. You know, let's move on. Um. Dude, guys, come on. What's our concrete plan for this series? Podcast? Ooh, you know what? <sighs> like, what? What? Okay. Um. What's our goal? Wait, we should be asking you that because you're like the main host in, in Yo, this show. For me, the, my goal is for... Uh, you know, wait, sorry to bother you, but without Mio, this whole thing wouldn't be possible <laughs> as well because he, he came up with this idea. So yeah, yeah, yeah. thank you, Mio. Yeah, no problem. Respects, we, we respects. Came, we, we came, uh, I, I wanted <laughs> to have, <laughs> I'm so awkward again, <laughs> but I wanted to have a podcast. <laughs> like ever since like, you know, last year's pandemic, Yeah, it gave me a lot of ideas. And like, you know, podcast is something that allows people to share their views or opinions, mm-hmm. you know, with, but in a sense, like, you know, it's just a comfortable way of sharing. You know, I don't have to go to Twitter and type rants and stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I, I can go like stay, you know, I can just stay in my, in this place and then with my, two of my friends and if we just talk about it and you know, film it, you know, it's simple. Mm-hmm. And oh, like, you just want to like, let out your expressions mm, like, basically. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not a person who was on like in the, keyboard warrior people you know Yo, i'm more uh, of like a vocal person i would yeah. like to give my opinion as vocal as i am and then of course like you know streetwear has been in my life for a couple of years so i want to share what my opinions are what my side is about it as well so that's why like i suggested this podcast and then rj came up to it and then you know with full support full support full and support. then jamal thank god dude thank god he's in streetwear now dude he wasn't in streetwear for like a couple of years, dude. Wait, um, where was he? He was the latest one be- between the two of us. Really? Huh. I think we start. Me and RJ started, and then yeah, I sort of just hopped out. Yeah, like, just like a little, in. like a little bit, like mm-hmm. he wa- he was fr- he yeah. was like at like first like you know just checking on H and M, and then I suddenly saw him like you know oh my god, this brand is actually good, and started. Yeah, I, s- I sort of just hopped in. elevated. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know. And then that's where we find ourselves here. So yeah, I think. Our combination of the three of us, like, we had different styles and different views. We were gonna have a good podcast. Dude. Uh, mm-hmm. Inshallah, bro. Inshallah. So hopefully, my goal is like you know, 
to make money. You're joking. You're joking. Oh, just kidding. Just you kidding. Know what? Just kidding. Oh, you, heard you heard him. Oh, <laughs> you heard him. Make money. Hey, you heard him. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, my goal is for us to, um, you know, for us to finally find our identity based on what people would say. Like, because that's for me. Yeah. Because peop- I, have, I have my own identity that people... Uh, that I may perceive like oh I, mm-hmm. I I have this brand that I want to wear and stuff. But what if we gain your com? Uh, what if we gain your opinions? What if we gain your comments? We're gonna know like oh I was kind of like this kind of person. You know I'm I'm this type of person with this type of personality. You know it's it's like a mirror. Dude. Mm-hmm. They are the mirror, the fans. So that's where I'm like really looking forward for the podcast. You know people just think, oh me is such an extrovert. Me is so loud. You know it's fine at mm-hmm. least. I'm having, you know, um, my own, like, I'm having an external um, identity, like, my external knowledge of my personal identity mm. from mm-hmm. people. And that's what I really like about this podcast. You know what I really like as well? It's that we could also grow from this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. We that's can good. grow from learning from you guys as well. Mm-hmm. We are hoping for, for some, like, um, constructive feedback for this podcast mm-hmm. as well. You know, at the end of the day, it's just, it's all about learning. Yeah. 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 And the opportunities, yeah. bro. There's a yeah, big, yeah. Big, I mean, big, opportunities big opportunities, especially. The, the market right now for these podcasts, it, it's it's huge as well. So, yeah. like, I think it was so uh, like, you know, the f- perfect time to us hop in. Dude, sponsors. Sponsors. You're watching this. Sponsors, please. Small, big. We, know, we, need, those, we need those racks. Yeah, we kind of no. <laughs> need, uh, oh, we're still going to be low budget for a few Low budget episodes, for now. But, yeah, yeah. If you do want to support us, don't don't, don't hesitate to contact us. Don't hesitate. Us. Don't hesitate. Um, we're gonna dro- we're gonna drop your, um, my bank details also, right here. Let <laughs> us know. Let it. Also, <laughs> also for people who wants to, you feel like you want to guest in our podcast, feel free. Feel free to message us, dude. Yeah. Feel free, and then uh, we'll talk about it. We'll see like what with uh, which episode you're gonna fit in and stuff. Because as much as possible, we want people. We would want yeah. people as well. That uh, that will be really people, good. Different people, dude. Like, you yeah. want a different perspective since we three know each and each other, other a lot. Like, yeah. yeah, probably gonna Maybe, have yeah. like a very similar opinion. Yeah, so yeah. We want to hear from a different perspective because yeah. I'm also hoping for a debate at some episode. Mm, yeah, mm. it will be good. lovely. Right. So next topic is OOTD. 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 Uh, uh, you know what? You know OOTD. What? You, you start. You start. Yo, Jamal. <laughs> uh wait you know i know i know what doc martens nah viva 501s nah vintage shirt <laughs> no jungkook earrings yes pgl haircut yes jamel starter pack what, what do you mean <laughs> respects i mean no 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 i'm just uh today for today um just rocking a i guess a skater boy outfit i guess hey uh, okay I bad. mean, this is not my proudest outfit I've created, but it was just the first thing I saw, so I just took, I just took whatever. Uh, I'm rocking a, I'd say a vintage. Um, oh, what brand is that? Supreme, actually. Jeez. Very low key. Jeez. This is a Supreme Blessed T. I bought this off of Grailed. Oh. How much, how much, how much? I'm not sure, but probably around 300 dirhams. Damn, so that's $100. Not, that's not, that's yeah, not I, bought off of US, I bought this off mm-hmm. of a US. I bought this off of a US seller. So. And then your jeans is. This is just regular slacks yeah, yeah. or chinos, mm-hmm. maybe, uh, from H&M. I don't know how much this costs because this yeah. was old. Oh, okay. Uh, white socks. Okay. Um, and old schools, Vans. Oh. Pretty much. Oh, you're going to OG now? Yeah, this Dang, is pretty bro. much old, old, not OG. Um, like sneakerhead, vi- sneakerhead, skater, 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 skater yeah, boy. skater boy. Sorry, vibes. skater boy vibes. Yeah, boy red, boy red. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't bro. talk about that though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's next? RJ, RJ. Yeah. Um, right now I'm just going basic. You know, like. How about your sorry? jewelry, bro? Oh shit! Oh, this one. I'm. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start with the the top, the yeah, bottom, yeah, yeah. top to bottom. I'm gonna start with the like the some new era hat some uh it was like a uh what do you what do you call these kind of hats like a double double logo hat um yeah. i'd say baseball baseball, baseball. yeah baseball, baseball yeah. double logo hat caps, you know, so. yeah and i'm rocking like th- this uh this gold chain from this gold necklace from 2006 
Damn. Oh, it, it was a gift from my mom on my oh, birthday. Nice. That's 2006. I still Price. have it right now. And now I heard like gold is you know coming up in price. Damn. Is yeah, it? I was gonna buy, but yeah. it was. I, I just heard it was a good time to invest in gold. So like you know. You know, it was a good. It's well not a good time to buy, gold. but it, it's a good time to sell your gold. It's gold yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. That one, that one. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, rocking a basic unique low T. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with basics. Yep. And yep, some fear of God essentials. Uh, of course, uh. dude. That's where Jerry, the Jerry Lorenzo. Uh. Jerry boy. And yeah, just some uh, sambas. Yeah. All right. So for me, I'm borrowing a babe shirt. Because <laughs> my brother doesn't want to wear it. So Yo, it looks sick though. Yeah, it yeah, looks good. Yeah. It's actually nice. And then I'm just wearing some shorts, some H&M mm-hmm. shorts. Because, like, it was so hot, dude. How was that? Yeah, How today, was you said, right, there was, like, yeah. a sandstorm. Yeah, dude. It was yeah. so hot. It wasn't. The climate wasn't nice, basically. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't oh, nice shit. today. But Summer is coming. It's not going to stop us from filming, you know? Yeah. Mm. And, like, we do know, it for you. Keep, keep it, like, cool. Yo, why the fuck you so cringe? <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just kidding. What do you mean? No. <laughs> respect, respect. I'm all for the audience. I'm all for the <laughs> audience. Then, I'm wearing some Yeezy 350 uh, Cloud Whites. Oh, bro, they don't oh, yeah. they wow. don't look cloud whites anymore, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's fine, dude. Like, I w- people would say, like, oh, why is it beat up? Why don't I mean, it? T- it, it has a story, dude, guys. Okay, and I had to do the cause, like, <coughs> yeah, yeah. So, like, I don't like you know, not necessarily I don't clean it, but I don't just don't need to like you, you know, wear your shoes. Yeah, wear exactly. It. I'm it, happy it, because you wear your shoes. Yeah, I, I don't That's wear good. it for cloud. I wear it because I want it, and for mm. me, like, this is the most comfortable boost. Like the Yeezys have the comfortable boost. I don't know. I mean, they're known for their comfortability, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adidas. Yeah. Between Ultra Boost and this one, I would choose this one. Whoa! What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. for comfort. For real? For some reason, it, it's, it feels more. Comfortable. Oh wow! Okay. It feels like you're you're like uh, it feels like you're like walking walking on clouds. And, and how much? How much was bed. that? Um, retail, bro. Oh, so retail. Nine hundred dollars. Something around there, eight forty nine. Somewhere, yeah. So, yeah. Somewhere there, dude. So not bad. Not and bad. That's why the resale price here is not that high as well. It's pretty okay. Mm-hmm. So now that you know our OETD, fire. Let's go to what? Oh. Takeaway dining, dessert. Takeaway dining. No, dessert, okay. dessert. Guys, before we st- we go to dessert, please do. We're gonna post you our picks, on <laughs> right now. We're gonna post you our picks right now. In three, two, one. <laughs> All right, check it. Yo, if it's, it's a takeaway, so fucking cringe. Dine oh, in. No. Don't worry. Oh, God. And we'll, we'll we'll know about who has the best fit. Yo, who I'll, has like? Oh man. <laughs> I, I I think I'm gonna lose it. I was like. Yo, my fits were also terrible. <laughs> um, my fits are very repetitive. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. Yeah. Okay. So make sure to give your opinion on the comments, and then yeah, who's whose fit is the best? Yeah. All right, for dessert, boys. Today we're gonna reveal two fits, the good and the bad. All right, are you guys prepared, dude? I am well prepared. Dude, are you ready to? I'm well prepared. <laughs> expose <gasps> yourself to the world. Expose myself. I, what is your fashion taste? Before? I am not ready. No, I want to show the growth. <laughs> yeah, you, we'll see. We'll see. Like you know, this year it was like 2015, yeah. 2017, and then. 2021, mm. you know, where yeah, our fits yeah, have yeah. evolved into something. No shame, no shame. Yeah. You know, it, ha- it has more meaning now, you know. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I think I'll start with myself. Yeah, go myself. ahead. Okay. Yeah. So this was my bad pick. Okay, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, oh sorry. Shit. Yeah, this one. Okay, we'll pause it in the video. You guys can see it. We'll yeah. just edit it out. We'll just yeah. edit. Oh, and my God. I mean, to be honest, it's not it's not bad if you're just going to uni, yeah. casual, casual wear. Jamal, I, I think what you say it's bad is because of the jeans, maybe. Okay, I, you cuffed it too. Yeah, exactly. Too much. It, yeah. I think I was like trying so hard to cuff it, and then I was trying. Okay, so I was wearing a cotton candy ASAP Rocky guest right here. Oh, yo, what? No ASAP Rocky? Yeah. No way, yo. Okay, that's fire. But the jeans though The yeah. jeans made it bad But Yeah yeah, yeah the um, jeans I have a video Or a photo Of me wearing that With the proper jeans now It mm-hmm. looks good But dude Because of that I kinda like went up And then I had brown hair bro Come on. Uh, Yo, okay, I think, I think you is, had a okay, face yeah, This is the Korean face Yeah, yeah. That's why I was face. coughing so hard I was stucking in And I had yeah. this uh, Dude oh, The old school 
Vans, man. It was f- hype that time. Everyone is buying it. The Vans old school. Yeah. It's too- I don't know why. It's I think it's an essential, honestly. It, it, it was a go to, to yeah. be honest. That yeah. time. But I think the essentials now are different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, know? for mm-hmm. sure. It's been, it's, it has evolved. So I would say we'll see the fit now. Okay. 2021, what's my fit? And three, two, one, boom. See? Hey. Like, our suggestion really worked. Like, yeah. step away from the jeans, yeah. go with cargoes. Go with cargoes. If you, if you see how, if you saw how Mio dressed, just yeah, up yeah. it was we me and rj had to help the out the jeans were very tight like it was it wasn't my butt i, was I don't like know i don't know if your crutch can even fucking breathe in that <laughs> shit to be honest and i felt so bad for you go with cargos man yeah. Yeah. you look way better so i was like thinking of buying some true to size yeah true to size but then you know other brands like dickies yeah. or carhartt I'm like even he, work pants would be nice yeah workwear pants are in yeah utility wear is really in jackets so, like, too and for me, like a big guy for me, like I don't want to wear something too tight. Yeah. I've been wearing, like you told me to buy vintage jeans. I've been buying vintage jeans that are like a bit baggy. Because, you know, it, it kind of is really comforting, dude. Mm. don't have to like go wear some slim fit yeah, jeans. Yeah, right. It feels different, right? It feels yeah. different. Yeah. And, yeah. Distress too. And yeah. I feel like Fire. this is me entirely. Like, you know, it's not loud hype beats. It's just subtle, you know, just comfy and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, that's it. That's that's how I evolved from like wearing that. I don't know that jean that coughed it so hard. I mean, it's good that you know now. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go. Let's go, with J- Jamal, dude. Jamal. All right. Um, Show us the bad one, dude. Jamal. I guess I'll go for the worst <laughs> one. I'll let you guys. I'll let you guys see. Oh no. How old were you though? How old were you? I think. I was like what the shirt you were wearing, 17, dude? 16 No, mm. uh, probably seventeen. It looks. Uh, yeah. I'm twenty years old now, by the way. And you, you know this is like you were going to uh are you going to the f- yeah sports uh, no 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 we were is going we we were having a photo shoot and there was oh wow. yeah it was, was it? actually my first one with RJ because I got oh. invited yeah I I wouldn't say it's really bad it's not like a I major mean, takeaway no I'm not gonna lie it, it's not bad because like to me how that looks it lo- it looks like you haven't discovered fashion yet yeah I, I'm new to the game basically yeah. oh sorry guys. <laughs> no, sorry yeah, about yo, that. What are you watching, bro? What are you watching, bro? <laughs> sorry about that. Sorry, sorry. Oh, uh, what was I wearing? Um, I was wearing some, some Nike. Was I was wearing Nike Roshis. Oh, yo, that, hey. that Oh was, my God, everyone that was, was very wearing trendy it. That Roshis. Day. Dude, the Pinoys, man. Like <laughs> every <laughs> Pinoys <laughs> were wearing a Roshi, bro. Yo, yo, sick. Oh, that was the era. I mean, what? I had one. Did you guys have one? No, I yeah, he had one. But you, did you? I went straight to Air Maxes. Oh, so. okay. Good choice. <laughs> um, H and M shorts, mm. basic. All right. Fire. And I had this knockoff. Not really a knockoff, but Pablo T. Yeah, it's like a Kanye West knockoff. Like a copy, yeah. Copy, copy and paste. All right, yeah. All right. I get it. I get it. Yeah. And you know, just it's the Nike I mean, hat. It, it looks fine though. It looks fine. Yeah. All right, all right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. To fast my forward, fast forward. to my oh. best fit though. Yo, yo, I yo. mean, this is this is what what RJ mentioned earlier about the Jamel starter pack. Yeah, this is this is this is what it is. Yo, yeah, I'm I mean, telling you, like, bro, it's good. It's, it's, it's good. good, man. I like yeah, it. The, the tote bag was mine, by the way. Oh yeah, <laughs> the tote bag. The tote bag wasn't part of the outfit, by okay. the way. But w- it's a good prop. Yeah. Can, can, can we have a different angle to it? Um, I'm not I sure if I can show you. I think there's a better angle. The yeah. one that you were like uh, standing. That was a better yeah, angle. I, I can put it in. Uh, yeah, let yeah, me okay. look. For You'll it. see it here. We'll post it. You yeah, you guys can post it. it. Yeah, yeah, that's Here. a better angle. All right. Yeah. So you look right. at it. You're wearing a vintage tee with a um, thrifted Levi's. Yeah, thrifted Levi's actually. And then Doc Martens. Yeah. Damn, that's good. Look, look, look at it. I mean, it's a, it's bro. a good silhouette. Like yeah, yeah. you know. Actually, you know, I wasn't. I, I I wore the Doc Martens to uh, to get a. How do I say this? Um, you know, you guys know um, uh, Bottega Veneta's, right? Oh. Or or um, sorry, uh, okay. what do you call that? It's not loafers. Um, I forgot what it's like called. It is. It's a type of no, boot. It's, it's a type boot. of boot. Um, I forgot what boot is that. I forgot what it's called. The one that I always yeah, I told you. It too. Uh, it's not Chelsea boots. No, it's not. Yeah. I forgot what it's called, but it. I I wanted to uh to get a like a close a silhouette. A silhouette. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. yeah. Anyway, so it looks good. Yeah, it looks nice. Good. Yeah. Okay, not 
Not the least. But what? The what do last you mean? guy. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> the last Sorry, guy. I, I forgot. I forgot my English, dude. For some reason, I just like <laughs> lost words for some reason. Oh okay. Um. Last I'm, but not the least. There you go, fudge. Well, I'm not gonna lie though. Like. Okay, so RJ had this like, the 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 his fashion taste during 2017 was like similar to what he has right now, but this one looks more comfortable, and mm-hmm. it looks more like. How would I say this? He looks more mature. Uh, to be honest, like back then, it was always planned. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, take, yeah. Take hours. To, take hours. Not hours, me, but like minutes. In minutes. The shower yeah. To you plan wanted. It. You wanted to look out. Yeah, I just wanted, wanted to, to look good. I wanted yeah. to look but good. But now, feel like, confident. But now I'm just like. You just yo, pick whatever. Yeah, I, I want to look good, but confident. Exactly. Like I trust. I trust my fashion yeah, sense yeah. now. Yeah. So I just take whatever and like I go. Right, can you show? Out. Show us. Show us. This was a very old pick. I mean that was not that old, 2017. Oh, what what was this a vintage shirt? Yeah, you know you know what? It was a reap. That that is an actual vintage shirt. Ooh. And I didn't know that. Dude, this actually looks fire, dude. Why would you say this is a bad pick? Well, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't find for the bad pick. I I, I see. couldn't <laughs> find the bad pick. Maybe because I deleted them. I he see. Maybe because I deleted the... them. No, 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 no. <laughs> he flexing. I mean, all I, right, s- right. I see why you chose this because the 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 I joggers. Have the I have joggers. Exactly. I have Holy reason. crap! Yo, like if you look, yo look at look at the pants. Yo, H&M. there's no leg room. There's no exactly. leg room to it breathe. Was that dude, tight. what the hell I is this Vans, dude? Is this like a Gucci inspired Vans, dude? Exactly. Oh Custom. my gosh, dude. It was dude. so cringe. But I the shirt, fire. Beanie, beanie and glasses from the bottom. The whole fit. Looks yeah, good. Bottom onwards, but terrible. now if you look in details, okay, I would say. Why yeah. would you say this is a bad? But guys, RJ actually has really bad outfits before, but he doesn't want to show. I think no, he no, no, no. I remember it, dude. I remember it. That's them two. Yo, 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 it's okay, only them two. Yo, yo, shut the fuck up. Okay, I'll, <laughs> I'll explain. I'll explain. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's not that I don't want to show you guys, you know. I just couldn't find it because it's probably because I deleted it because it was that <laughs> bad. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before, okay, before all, before all this, okay. Yeah. That's so why I'm just showing you now, like yeah. a pick that probably I don't like, but it's oh. still in my category. Yeah, well, what a safe pick, huh? A safe pick. Well, it's still kind of bad though, like from the bottom onwards, because yeah, yo, that that white lace right there, that, that's a shoelace. Shoelace. <laughs> shoelace. Yeah. yeah. Shoelace. That, that, that shows. That shows like you have a sense of like creativity. Like, no, no, because yeah. shoelaces well, used was, as a belt was a thing. It was oh, an it was, actual was thing. thing. No. Yeah. yeah. Justin Bieber, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's, you guys know that. Okay, so looking at the current one, is this this one? You're gonna choose this one. Yeah, yeah. That was oh great. my God! Yo. Look at this. Yo. He looks more I mature evolved, now. That's he drip. evolved. That's and drip. Okay, so let's char- check on. So you have. Charizard, is this bro. a trucker God jacket? Damn. Is this a trucker jacket? No, no, no. That this was like a letter jacket. Like letter jacket, a hoodie. Because it was ho- it was cold. It was Wait, Where what was that? Shit, that was in Georgia. Oh, oh damn. Yeah. So Georgia, the country, guys, not the state, the country. <laughs> Tbilisi, right? Tbilisi. Tbilisi. Okay, so he has this. Damn, this. Oh, sorry, it closed. It actually looks nice. Is this French? Is it um, what? Uh, the beret, the beret, the beret, the beret, yeah. the beret with sunglasses. You know the reason why I wore that was because of um, Peaky Blinders. Ooh, oh, oh. I, I was inspired. Okay, I was inspired. So. Wait, was yeah. Peaky Blinders released already during yeah, that this time? One, this oh, yeah, this was, was it was old, like a few man. seasons already. Yeah, yeah, this was, was oh. this is twenty twenty nineteen, right? Yeah, it's already initially. Like, initially, I just wanted to stick with the beanie. Yeah. Then uh-huh. you know I was a big fan of Peaky, so I was like, Yo. Wait, was oh. that backwards? Was what was your bag? Backwards? Yeah, it was. What was your bag? That's nice. That's a nice twist. What was your bag here? My bag here. Oh, it was a coach bag. Damn. Yeah, and coach then bag. you had the good good pair. Of, is it joggers? Or that you? was some cargos from Cargos. Bershka. Oh, okay. Also from and Bershka then you had Doc and, like, Martens. Doc Martens, yeah. Damn, fire. That's always a go-to. So we'll post it, guys. You guys see. Okay, so context of what we wear, by the way, guys. It's it's hard, you know. When, when we try to dress up in Philippines, of course, it's going to be different. When we try to dress up in the colder air, it's going to be different. It's going to be different. But... Um, our Instagram will be different because of the location, of course. I don't. I want. I want to wear what Orgy was wearing all the way in Manila. Dude, that's stupid. I would like die. That's too hot. It's, it's too hot. hot. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. For so sure. you would see a different. Like I would say, most of my Instagram stories are like based on like humid environments, dude. Mm-hmm. And like, except in Japan, though. But I mean, like, like the fact that you wore Hawaiian shirts. Because it's wavy, it's summer, bro. summer vibe. <laughs> I'm saying. You know what I'm Yo, saying? look at his face, bro. But 
Okay, so right now the I don't wear I don't wear beach polos currently. Okay. Like I don't wear them, but I wear polos like Fred Perry, Lacoste, you know, polo shirts. So like formal, yo, like formal that ones. is so daddy. But I'm a daddy. Daddy, <laughs> <laughs> daddy. But yeah, so you hey guys, um, if you see me like, probably. M- yo, why the fuck you so cringe though? Okay, yo, go on. What sorry. do you? What do you? So if I go to a date and I'm wearing like polo shirt and you're gonna go like this, yeah, that's that's appropriate. That's, <laughs> that's appropriate. appropriate. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially yeah. in a hotel, maybe. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, come on, dude. It, look, it looks. It looks. You look like a good boy. You know what I'm saying? Good boy. <laughs> good guy. Hey, good boy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That looked more like a. Nah, you oh. got. Oh. Nah, you got the bills. <laughs> no, basically. no, no, no. Anyway, anyway. Okay, guys. So we have seen like, I would say it's not a good or bad pick. I would say it's the evolution of our. Picks. Yeah. So next week. We're gonna think of a different challenge. You guys mm-hmm. can suggest different and topics, obviously. Yeah, mm-hmm. and yeah, I would like to take this opportunity. I, I, I'm sorry about my co-host here, Jamal. I forgot about him. Oh, but uh, yeah, yeah, can you tell us about your your dream, your future um, plan for the for the podcast? Yeah, for the Potter. I don't know. Um, basically, I just want us to be successful, like yeah, okay. everyone else. You know. Amen. That's Respect. uh. Respects. Thank you. And it's mostly because of you guys. I mm. want I want more engagements. You know, hopefully, yeah. as we release more mm-hmm. episodes, yeah. more engagements. Uh, you guys could help us. You know, more engagements yeah. means more likes, more follow, follow- more followers, more followers, maybe more sponsorships. Maybe, yeah, <laughs> no, not really. But more like, budget. <laughs> <laughs> like they could help us on what to improve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They could yeah, suggest yeah. anything. Yeah, like yeah, any yeah. topics we could talk about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's true. Hopefully, for the uh, takeaway uh, mm. or dessert portion. We could judge your guys' fits. Yeah, you can say. Whoa, it to yo, me. that'll be fire. So, yeah, that'll yeah, be yeah. fire. That's yeah. what so I want from. If, if our community you guys. is kind of like big, we can talk about your fits. Yeah, it's time Dang. for you guys yeah. to share a part of yourself, yeah. though, as did. Anyway, inspire. Me. That's all. Basically, that's all for yeah. today. Oh, by the way, dude, I'm curious, dude. Can you share us about your tattoos? People might see it, dude. Oh, tattoos. Yo, you want to flex oh, yeah. your tattoos? Sh- right share now. it. Share, share the meaning of it, dude. Uh, so I got these recently. They're show, about. Show, show it to the podcast. Dude. I. Th- I th- I think we'll just edit it out, right? Okay. We just put a picture. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a picture. So what does it mean? It's in uh, Russian. I got this for 400 dirhams. <laughs> no initially, need, initially. No need to tell the buy price, one, bro. Buy one, take one. <laughs> buy yeah. one, take one. No, initially 500, but I got it down to 400. What was the meaning? What? What's this is, my tattoos are in Russian. Yeah, okay. I got two on both yeah. arms. One says no past, mm-hmm. and the other says no future. Mm. That's kind of so the obvious message is the present matters basically, Jeez. and that's what matters in this podcast, dude. Exactly. The present. I I don't know how that that went so deep, yeah. but uh, like yeah, whatever. So how is that relevant? I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, but, the, the tats are still part of fashion, though. Yeah. 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 So, fashion, so yeah. So yo, I have I have a lot of views on tattoos and fashion. So maybe maybe on maybe future episodes, it, yeah, yeah. 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 for right. sure. So uh, we're not gonna keep this podcast any more like longer than we <laughs> expected, <laughs> but uh, we would like to thank everyone who's watching, who's been listening for this podcast. Thank you, Th- thank you, thank yeah. you so much. And I hope yeah. that you like, subscribe, and make sure to ring that notification bell. And w- we'll see you in the next episode, yeah. dude. Oh, Stay and tuned. And you can reach out to us yeah. at your Instagrams. Yeah, yeah. What, what is your so Instagrams? Instagram? Go Jamal. Uh, J U M dot zero eight. Yep. Um, Young Ray's underscore. And for me is me you underscore tan, cool. and we're gonna talk uh, in the future. We're gonna give uh, details on the Instagram page of our podcast, as well as links on the Spotify as well as on YouTube. YouTube, as well. yeah. YouTube, yeah. So, guys, thank you so much. Yo, that's a wrap. Bro. That's Yo, a wrap, that's boys. A wrap. That, that's not a bad intro. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Thank bro. you. So this is the weekly menu. Stay tuned. Cheers.